All right, I wanted to walk you through so that you could see in real time when you wanna sell other people's content on your Kajabi site. Now, this is a really great idea. However, I will tell you at the beginning, this is one of the most complicated business models that there is. It is a proven business model, but you just need to be aware of all the different issues that come into play. And I will remain as objective as possible, but this is a model that for myself, I have been able to break time and time again. So until I can't break a model, that's the only time that I personally build it. So let's get started. And this, like I said, this is all about selling others content on your site, okay? That is what we're talking about. Now, like I said, proven business model. You can take a look at a few different places. Masterclass does this. Udemy does this. Linda does this. Um, oh, Creative Bug, that's another one that does this. So it is a proven model for sure, where you have a hub and the hub is basically the facilitator of other content, all right? Lots of other content. So whether you are thinking you have a few collaborators or whether you want a lot of collaborators, those give you good places to go look. Um, Skillshare is another one. So Skillshare, any of those are to some degree this business model that we are going to talk about. Now, here is where I want you to be really clear. Why do you want to do this? We are preneurs. We identify with creativity. We problem solve. We have energy. We are optimistic. We like to fix things, okay? It's in part of who we are. I can want to fix a lot of things. I can want to help a lot of people. I need to have a very specific why. Why do I want to do this business model? No different than why do I want to run a membership site or why do I want to build a course? So all of those just know what is your why. Now, if you get through your why and you're like, okay, yep, I'm totally specific. Um, I know exactly why. Then I would challenge you. Is there an easier way to accomplish what it is you want to accomplish? Most things absolutely can be accomplished. Just like when we're building a home and I ask the builder, can I do this? His answer is always absolutely for time and money. We can do anything you want. When you are looking at this, when you are building this out and thinking about selling other people's content on your site, is there an easier way to do it? Because as you're going to see, there's lots of steps involved. If your answer is absolutely not, this is the easiest way I can do it, it totally supports my very specific why, then we look at how to pull it off, okay? Uh, this, you're obviously going to, my coworker is building right now, um, how to pull it off. And that's what I'm gonna walk you through right now, but first we have to map it out. I never build anything unless I can draw a picture. If I can't draw a picture of it, that means I don't have clarity. So there's another tidbit um, when you're pulling together your Kajabi business. If you can't draw it on a napkin for somebody, you're not clear. I don't care who it is or what it is, everything can be sketched out on a napkin. Billion dollar ideas can be sketched out on napkins. So first off, we're gonna start with you in the middle. And this is your site. Now, your site, your business, you, I'm gonna use all of those interchangeably. Now, the triangle is the strongest shape. So we're going to put your site into a triangle. We want a strong business. We want a strong center. The three points of a triangle do not change. They are the same for all of us. We share this in common. They are legal, all right? They are customer service. 
and they are money. Those are the three pieces. Now, within those three pieces, because I know, Tamsin, what about my email? What about my products? What about my membership site? What about my team and my videos? All of that, yes, lives in our bubble, okay? So we can put our products in here. We can put email in here. We can put marketing in here. We can put our team in here. But all of those pieces will fall into legal, customer service, and money. Those are your anchor points. So when you're selling your content, okay, we'll use blue. When you're selling your products, it's inside the circle. When you're collecting money, it's inside the circle. When you're crafting your purchase terms, it's inside the circle, okay? Those are inside the circle. They're inside your site easy. Now is when we want to bring someone else's content to be sold on our site. Our site is the facilitator. So we are going to draw Joe over here. So we know Joe. We like Joe. We want to sell Joe's content. Joe wants to sell Joe's content on our site. So we need our triangle. We have to have a triangle always around us and what we are doing. So Joe has the same three pieces, legal, customer service, and money. Now, Joe is also going to have people that want Joe's product, okay? This is another layer of the discussion when it comes to the marketing piece. Is Joe getting the customers and sending them to the site or is your site gaining the traffic and then presenting content to those people? That is a different layer that is marketing specific. I'm going to highlight it right now, but this is not the focus of outlining this business model right now. So we have Joe over here. Joe has his own legal, his own customer service, and his own money. Now, when you want to bring Joe into your collaborating, we have to bring Joe in. Okay, so we have all this blue now that has to come into your site. Okay, the bubble of your site. Now, this is where many people will say, oh, well, I'll make him uh, I'll give him a Kajabi permission level because one of the things you have to answer is, are you doing Joe's legal? Are you handling the purchase terms such that when people purchase, they are buying from your company, you then have a separate legal arrangement between you and Joe. You have now put yourself in the middle of those transactions. This is very, very common. When I worked in collegiate trademark licensing, the company that I worked for, that's what we did. We were in the middle. We represented colleges and universities on one hand, and the Jan Sports, the Nikes, the Under Armors, the Reeboks, everyone that wanted to make and sell a collegiate product with any of the trademarks that our clients owned. So we were in the middle. We had contracts with vendors. We had contracts with schools. We facilitated those. We were in the middle, okay? That's what you have to make these decisions about. So if you come in and you say, oh, well, I want Joe to be able to send emails to his people. I want Joe to be able to um, answer comments. Well, let's see what that does. So we're gonna go back over to our customer service, and these are still, um, we have different three different roles in Kajabi. They can be an admin person, and these are permission levels. They can be an assistant, or they can be support, okay? So Joe, we want Joe to be able to come in and handle product comments. Well, we can do that. If we make him support, he can come in and answer questions on products, okay? So hold that thought because we realize, oh, we've met Sally in the middle of all of this, and now we want to bring Sally and sell her content also on our site. So Sally, first thing, what do we need? We gotta put a triangle around Sally. She has the same three pieces, legal, customer service, 
and money. Sally also will have people, okay? So we want to sell Sally's content on our site. Okay, well, we got to bring her in. So all of her pieces are now inside of our bubble, okay? Now, let's revisit Joe. Joe came in, we gave him a support level permission so he could just respond to comments, the very, very basic part. Well, now that Sally's green is inside of our circle, Joe can now answer comments on Sally's product. This is how Kajabi is currently set up, okay? So if you get make someone support, now Joe, we'll just put a little uh, green over here so you can see that he can now see Sally's products, okay? Let's say you have 10 people. We have now created a Crayola box of colors. We now have support. They can see everyone's products. You have to say, is that what I want? Okay, there is not a right or wrong answer. There just is a requirement to think through these pieces. So let's back it up just a little bit and we're gonna take off support, okay? So we still have Joe, we still have Sally, their content is in there. And you say, okay, well, I just want Joe to be able to do everything. I want him to be able to come into the site, send email, um, create and edit the product. I want him to be in there doing what it is he does. Great. You can make him an admin. Well, an admin can then do everything on your site. All right. So now look what happens. That whole site is now in Joe's territory. Do you want that? Let's say you do the same thing for Sally. You make Sally an admin. Okay. This is where it becomes really messy and the attorney in me breaks out in hives, okay? I might, I might truly break out in hives because it just needs to be very, very well thought out, incredibly well drafted, bank accounts zipped up tighter than Fort Knox. There, This gets very complex, right? This is not wake up tomorrow and think I'm gonna sell someone else's content. No way, that does not work here. So. Do you see how all of that, just by saying, oh, I want to sell their content and I want them to be able to do everything, they now are in everyone's everything. And all it takes is one person who colors outside of the lines inappropriately to make the whole thing a complete disaster. So let's take off Sally. We don't like that idea. We're taking off Joe. Don't like that idea. Okay, so we say, you know what? I'm going to make Joe an assistant. So assistant can get in, can do everything on the site, but they can't touch money. So you're like, oh, that's perfect. I want him to edit his content. I want him to send emails. I want him to be able to send people their username and password. Because think about when you're exponentially adding, we're going to go back to black, all these people, okay? Exponentially, your people have to expand. Your business model is large volume. Look at Masterclass. Look at Udemy. Look at Skillshare. Look at Creative Bug. It is a low price point with a massive, massive customer base. Think about someone who can't figure out how to log in. Who are they going to contact? If they're over here, are they contacting Joe? If so, how are they going to contact Joe? Okay. These are the practical things that you have to be thinking through on this business model. So let's get rid of that. Or are they contacting you? Okay, exponentially, these people are going to increase. So Joe can't see the money, but now Joe, if he's an assistant, so we'll make him an assistant, he can touch marketing dashboard. That means he can send emails. What if Joe goofs a filter and sends an email to... Sally's people over here, they have no idea what Joe's talking about. You are doing customer cleanup. So those, those are the issues with this, okay? Those are the really practical, practical pieces. So let's get rid of those, okay? So we say, eh, nope, I don't really want to do that. I'm going to handle everything, okay? 
I'm going to handle it all. So what that means, and we will go back to our black, that means you have to come into Joe, okay? You have to handle his customer service. You have to as have a way to pay Joe. You have to have legal contracts between you and Joe. You are taking care of Joe's people. So you are truly a facilitating hub. The people that run Masterclass, Udemy, Linda, Creative um, Bug, Skillshare, the people that are running that are not likely creating their own content. They are not likely to be that person because one person can't do all this. Even a small team would have a very difficult time managing all of this as each time you added a layer, what are we having to take care of? We're taking care of marketing. We're taking care of customer service. We're handling money. We're making sure legal is addressed and taken care of. And anytime there's a change in those pieces, then we have to address that. So let's take off all of these lines because I know they get messy very, very quickly. Get rid of this. There we go. So when you want to sell someone else's content on your site, this is what I want you to draw out. Draw out how are you gonna handle sending usernames and passwords? How is a Joe gonna service his own account? How is Sally going to service her own account? Do Joe and Sally even want to do that? This is where I repeatedly will come back to Masterclass. And for instance, Sarah Blakely has a course and RuPaul has a course and Diane von, Diane von Furstenberg has a course. They wanted to share what they're super good at, what they're really, really excited about. They don't want to make the course. They came in, they were filmed, they promote it on their social media channels. They absolutely do because they share in the profits, all right? So let's make Sally, we'll make Sally Sarah, okay? So Sarah is right here. I have, I love Sarah Blakely. I think she's a genius. I think she's a great mom. I, she is just, she's one smart, smart cookie. So Sarah's here. And Masterclass is in this center. Okay, Masterclass is handling everything. Masterclass is doing marketing. Masterclass holds my account. Masterclass bills me. Masterclass does everything. Sarah comes in, provides the talent right here. So came in, provided the talent into the circle, but is not handling customer service is not handling legal, is not handling money, and people that like Sarah and know Sarah might come in from her social media channels, but really anyone that is attracted to Masterclass can then move around the content that Masterclass provides. So that's where I always come back to, is there, <laughs> Is there an easier way to accomplish what you want to accomplish? Or is it something that you just, you want to help? You want to do more good? You want to bring other people's genius that you see into a way that other people can get it? Honestly, be their friend. Show them about how Kajabi works. If they're like, yeah, I do not want to touch that with a 10-foot pole, then show them how something like a Skillshare or a Udemy or a Linda, like talk with them, but don't make it your business model, all right? So I hope that gives you some solid questions to ask, a way to think through this making sure you're not ignoring the practicality, making sure that you understand legal is involved. Absolutely, legal is going to come into play. The big P customer service is huge and your money, all right? All of those, that makes up your bubble, your world. 
which the overarching piece, and this is where I break this model for myself, because while I can fix legal, I know how to make legal work, no problem. Licensed attorney, I can absolutely do that. I know how to do customer service. I know who the people are that I would hire to run that part of the business. I can handle the money, no problem. I know how I would run that. What I can't, what, where it breaks down for me is lifestyle. I do not want to be, me personally, I don't want to be Masterclass, Udemy, Linda, Skillshare, or Creative Bug. That is not what brings me joy. That is not what I want to do. So that's where it breaks down for myself. It might break down on a completely different part for you, but if it's not breaking down, if you can't break this idea, then it just might be your idea. The universe may have given you this idea to bring something to the market that is going to impact lives, create legacies, change trajectories. It just might be your idea. So I'm happy to answer questions. I'm happy to draw out graphs for people, but this is what a question that I am presented with quite frequently, and I wanted you to see how the different layers fit into play and all the pieces that you want to think about. Have a fabulous day and I will talk to you soon.